Now starting, all attendees are in listen-only mode. Greetings and thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Warren Stokes. I'll be your presenter today. I've got a very useful and interesting topic, and that is how to use Profit CRM to more effectively manage your contacts. I'm going to start by giving you just a little bit of background and some context for our demonstration today, and then I'll spend most of our time actually demonstrating profit contact management through a live desktop view here. But there are several elements to manag managing your contacts more effectively. One of them is to understand how do you'll manage your contacts by various categories. I'll, I'll be showing you how you can create different views of contacts by any criteria or category. We'll be able to, with those views, send out personalized email blast to selected groups of those contacts. We'll do things like a um, pretty cool trick to keep your personal contacts out of the CRM. I'll be sure to show you that. And a very important function is to be able to synchronize all of your CRM contacts, which are also Outlook contacts, into your phone. We'll show you how to set up some follow-up so that each contact can have a kind of a unique follow-up series. You can refer to that kind of as a drip campaign. Also, how to create a new opportunity with a contact so that you can capture some business opportunities. And in general, you'll be able to answer some key questions, like, for example, where is all of our new business contacts coming from? How many are coming from different categories? How many contacts does each of my sales reps have? So the general idea of contact management is important for a lot of reasons, but they all tend to bubble up into one common theme, and that is generating more business. So by getting better organized, improving your follow-up, getting better insight into your contact data, showing and tracking communications better with your contacts, all of this should result in increased business. And we're going to be managing really just three records in profit. The two primary records we'll talk about today are the contact record itself. For that, we use the Outlook contact form, as you'll see. There's also a company record, and companies uh, can be associated with many different contacts. There's also a tracking record in profit, which lets you track opportunities and, and other uh, events and cases and things like that. But for today's call, we're going to stick primarily to the uh, topic of contact management. In profit, there are permission and access levels, which help you determine and control who can view what and access which contacts. So what I'm going to do is switch our view over and go into a live demonstration here. And basically, I'm just going to open Outlook here. As you'll see, this is nothing more than a regular old Outlook view. I'm in Outlook 2013, but Profit does work in everything from 2007 or higher. Now you'll see that you know I can just change my view. I can click on my calendar, go back to my email. I'm just demonstrating that we're just basically in Outlook. But what Profit does is it adds functionality to Outlook in the form of these folders here on the left that I'm showing you with my red spotlight. So you can see a folder called Contact Manager, Company Manager, and so on. So we're going to focus in on contact manager primarily today. So to access the CRM, to access profit, we simply click on that folder in your Outlook folder list, and it brings up that particular view. What we're looking at here is just a view of all of my contacts. First thing I wanted to point out is that you can create multiple views, and I'll be showing you several of these views here during today's demonstration. You can also create whatever a kind of a dashboard that you want here in your in your contact view. So each of these columns, like last name, first name, job title, and so on, you can select among all of the different uh, fields in Profit and Outlook and basically create the view that you like. So a few basic things to get your mind around here. First of all, I just wanted to point out is when you open one of these contacts, it brings up just an Outlook contact form. That's the idea behind this, is we're basically using Outlook contact forms. But we're putting them in a way that you can that you can manage them effectively. So one of the key things is managing contacts by category. So there are two ways that we can manage categories. One of them in create categories, and one of them is to basically use the Outlook category function, which many of you I'm sure are familiar with. They're color coded in modern versions of Outlook, and they're pretty useful. So Profit uses those category functions, but Profit also lets you create up to 20 additional custom fields which can be used as filters and sorts. So again, you can use the Outlook categories or any of these customizable fields in Profit. And then you can sort and filter and create views based on that. For example, I'm going to go into a view that is narrowed down to just those CPA, that are CPA firms. 
And I created this view simply by creating a filter, adding a filter. I'll go into my filter tool here. And it just says categories equal CPA firms. So that's this view. I have 34 contacts that are CPA firms. You can do further uh, filtering. You can do filtering by any, any criteria in profit or outlook. So if I wanted to sit, uh, you know, find all the contacts in a certain region or state or country, I could do that. And then I'll show you a few of the things that you might do in this, in this view. One of the things you could do is basically look up activities uh, oriented around a contact. So let me just go back to my broad view here for a moment, my, my general contacts, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So see all of these different contacts in here. One of the things you can do is just look at all the emails associated with that contact. You can look at any appointments, tasks. You can keep track of notes with the contact through the note-taking feature. And this is actually a very simple but very important function here. So I wanted to call your attention to this drop-down list here that I'm pointing to on the right. This is nothing more than a list of activities that are important to you at your organization. So for example, you might want to be able to quickly enter a note that an appointment was scheduled, that you left a voicemail, that you made a phone call. And since all of these are customizable, some of them uh, might be different for you, but when you send a proposal to a contact, maybe that's an activity you want to try. Those are also reportable fields. You can also uh, link files to the contact. So by just clicking on this link button, I can, I can link a file to a contact. And these can be from any local network or cloud-based solution. So I can link a document here. Here's an invoice. I can double click on that, and this just brings up this particular invoice. Now, here's a fun part, automation for a contact. So in Profit, you have the ability to set some automated follow-up for any contact. You can see from this view that if I select all of these, I've just created a kind of a drip series with this contact. You can see I've done an introductory email. Maybe I set the start date to go out Monday. And then one week later, there's a follow-up. Two weeks later, I get a reminder pops up in Outlook. Uh, you know, three weeks out, four weeks out, and so on. And you can create as many of these follow-ups as you want. I'm going to assume for the moment that this idea of creating follow-ups with contacts is important to the audience today. So I'm just going to show you a little bit about the background of how we do it. I'm going to go up here to our tools area, and I'm going to open the sales automation. You can see that I've simply created a series of templates. Each one of these is either an email, reminder, or an appointment. They're just all Outlook functions. The email looks like any other email, except it's a template. So I'll just show you what that looks like here on my screen. You can see how it says, hello, first name, here in the template. That's how it's going to personalize this email. This might be the first email you send once you've, uh, once you've met a new contact. And this email can have anything that you want in it, including any images that would normally go into an HTML email. You put a subject line. You can have a standard attachment, whatever you want. In our series, three days, three days later, you, we have a reminder that simply reminds us to call the contact. It pops up, says you have a reminder to call, call these people. We have some talking points in the reminder. One week later, another follow-up email, and so on. So this is the, the templating behind the sales automation. So if you want to create a drip campaign, you simply create a few of these templates, and then you tell it how long you want it to be in the series. So for contacts, I have zero days. That would be my intro email. 7, 14, 21, whatever you want to set up. So now we've seen how we can kind of organize our contacts by category and field, and how we've created these different views. What I wanted to do now is show you how you might uh, generate an email, a group, personalized group email out to a list of these contacts. So let's say that I wanted to send out an email to all of the CPA firms in my database. Notice what I'm doing is I just changed my view. Now I can select all or part of this list. And when I right click, I can just say initiate a group email. What happens here is that it creates a recipient list. I can choose my format, HTML or text. I usually do HTML because I like the colors and stuff. And then I simply create my first email. So this is an email that is going to go out to everyone. So I'm going to uh, put my content in here. Now, you can just type content in here on the fly if you'd like. You can copy and paste it. What I'm doing is using a little trick called uh, Outlook's uh, building blocks and see how it populated that content. So this is just an email that's going to be sent out to this whole list. Put my subject line in there. When I click Send, everyone on this list will get a personalized email from me 
to them about that particular subject. In this case, I know that they're CPA firms. Pretty neat. You can also do things like send mailings from here. Maybe you want to do letters or envelopes or holiday cards or what have you. Uh, I wanted to mention, too, another point here is that this question comes up often, which is, how do I keep my personal contacts out of the CRM? Well, it's very easy. All you do is you mark them private using the Outlook private symbol, which is a, typically a little symbol of a lock here. Uh, you can also do that right in, uh, right in Outlook. You can do it in maths. You can go through here and mark a whole bunch of these private by just selecting the private field and selecting a whole bunch of them at a time. And again, notice I'm never leaving Outlook. I'm simply changing my view when I want to go into the CRM. So another concept here is the concept of um, assigning contacts so that you can synchronize them into your phones. And the idea of this aggregated database is a very important part of it. So. I'm sure you're all familiar with the idea of how you have your local Outlook contacts. I'll just go into my out local Outlook contacts again just to show you. But the view that I have here accessible to me is a view that I can basically have one central database of all my company's contacts. And if I choose to, and if I have the permission associated with this, I can assign this to, to different users. And what that does is allows them to synchronize those selected contacts into their phones, even though they're not necessarily in their local Outlook folder. So that's pretty nice. It just means your native contact function in your phones can have all of your business contacts for the whole company. And you know, with the sales automation, making sure you have good follow-up, one of the things you might do then is I'm just going to show you how you would create a new business opportunity. Let's say I send an email to one of these CPA firms, and they, um, they basically contacted me and said, hey, I'm interested in your product or service. So I can simply go up here where it says New, New Opportunity with Contact. And this would bring up another topic for another webinar, Opportunity Management. That's how easy it is to create an opportunity. Again, I'll cover those Opportunity Management in a separate uh, session with, for the audience. So one of the questions, as I talked about, was you know, how, where are my business contacts coming from? Well, you can look at them by category, by source, by custom contact field. At any given time, you can see how many categories. I have 34 categories that are CPA firms. How many of them were referred by our financial advisors? You can see I've got 11 of those, and so on. So where, is my, where are my new business contacts coming from? How many do I have in each category? Well, again, we have uh, the category of the state of Minnesota. I've got eight, in a double filter here, by the way, I've got 18 uh, CPA firms in the state of Minnesota, for example. How many, how many contacts does each sales rep have? One of the functions in Profit is to let you sort and filter by sales rep so that you can look at all your contacts. You can see how many each sales rep has and so on. So again, to kind of uh, reiterate, the idea behind Profit is really to give you a basic function for capturing, tracking information with contacts, keeping track of all the notes and activities and emails and files associated with a contact, being able to uh, create views by any criteria, send out group emails, uh, synchronize all your contacts into the phone, make sure you have good follow-up, and away we go. So this was intended to be kind of an intro session on contact management. If you would like to uh, contact us for more information or to set up a, you know, a, a more in-depth demonstration, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll post the inf my contact inf information here on the screen for a few minutes. And again, thank you for joining us this joining us today and let me know when we can be of further assistance. Bye now.